Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be answering this question that how can we count the number of elements of each order? So we are talking about finite cyclic group. So using the previous results that we have studied already, right? So using those results, let's see how we may use them in order to count the number of elements of each order within a finite cyclic group. So the first result we have is for an element A of order N, right, within a group which is a cyclic group, then this K is a positive integer, then the subgroup which is generated by A raised to power K is given is equal to the subgroup which is generated by A raised to power GCD of N with K. And moreover, the order of A raised to power K is given by N divided by the GCD of N with K. So this is the first result that we have already studied. Using this and using the fundamental theorem of cyclic groups, we uh, will uh, calculate it, uh, we will have the result to count the number of elements of each order in finite cyclic group using the so-called Euler phi function. Now what is this function? So first of all we have to understand this function. What is the definition How and how we may use it in order to count the number of elements, right? So uh, talking about this function, this is denoted by phi of n where n is some integer so it is defined in such a manner that phi of 1 is exactly equal to 1 right and whenever we have n greater than 1 in that case phi of n will tell us the number of remember we are counting the number here and not the actual elements so this phi of n would denote the number of positive integers which are less than n so obviously n minus 1 would be such there but among those n minus 1 numbers, we have to select those numbers which are relatively prime to the number n, right? So they would definitely be uh, less than, they would be less than n minus 1, correct? So phi n would have the number of positive integers which are less than n and relatively prime to n. So it could be either less than or it could be equal to n minus 1. So Remember we studied about this group U of n which is the multiplicative group under addition modulo uh, under mul multiplication modulo n right so the member of this group they were all the uh, all the members which are relatively prime to n so this is the same definition as that of uh, phi of n so therefore uh, the group U of n would contain exactly though the number of elements which are relatively prime to n and phi n count that thing only so therefore the order of u n is nothing but phi of n correct so to understand this phi of n more precisely let's see a few examples so let's calculate phi of n for the numbers 1 to 12 right so moving forward let's calculate it for 1 so what is phi of 1 so we are calculating phi of 1 so phi of 1 would contain the numbers which are equal to uh, uh, it would contain the numbers where, where the uh, they are relatively uh, prime to the number 1 so 1 is only relatively prime to 1 so therefore we have only one uh, number here as phi of 1 and actually phi of 1 is only 1 because 1 we cannot say the prime fact uh, the uh, about the prime nature of the number one so that is why phi of one is one only what about phi of two so we are looking for the number of elements such that they are relatively prime to two so we you know the number one is relatively prime to two so therefore uh, we have only one as phi of two one as the number so what about phi of three so you see one is relatively prime to three two is relatively prime to three so in total we have two numbers so two is the value of phi of three next for four you see the number one the number three they are relatively prime to four so therefore in total they are two in counting so therefore phi of four is two what about phi of five so you see the number 1, the number 2, the number 3 and the number 4, they are all relatively prime to 5. So therefore, in total we have 4 such numbers. So, uh, 
here it should be 4 right so we have 4 such numbers so therefore 5 of 5 is equal to 4 for the next one here uh, what is uh, what are the numbers which are relatively prime to 6 they are 1 and 5 so we have only two such numbers so therefore 5 of 6 is equal to 2 next moving further for 7 you see the number 1 the number 2 the number 3 the number 4 the number 5 and number 6 they all they are relatively prime to 7 so therefore they are total 6 in number so that means the 5 5 of 7 is equal to 6 next let's talk about 5 of 8 so you see the number 1 the number 3 the number 5 and the number 7 they are relatively prime to 1 obviously the gcd of 8 with 2 is equal to 2 and, and it is not equal to 1 similarly for other numbers as well so therefore we only have 1 2 3 and 4 as the count of those numbers which are relatively prime to 8 so the answer is 4 for 9 we have 1 2 4 5 7 and 8 as relatively prime to 9 so that means in total we have 6 as the numbers for 10 we have 1 3 7 and 9 as relatively prime to 10 so therefore in total we have 4 such numbers so 5 of 10 is equal to 4 right what about 11 for 11 you see we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 all relatively prime to it so in in total they are 10 in counting so therefore 5 of 11 is equal to 10 right what about 12 for 12 we have 1 5 7 and 11 as relatively prime to 12 so that means in total we have four such elements okay so from this table you can very clearly see that uh, how we can calculate phi n for different numbers you can even calculate it for numbers which are quite large in nature right so from this table can you observe that this was the number four can you observe for uh, can you first identify which all are the prime numbers so you see two is the prime number three is the prime number five is the prime number seven is the prime number and then 11 is the prime number right so for all these number for 2 it is 1 for 3 it is 2 for 5 it is 4 for 7 it is 6 for 11 it is 10 right so for all these numbers we have the value of phi of n as equal to 1 less than the number itself so it is 2 minus 1 it is 3 minus 1 it is 5 minus 1 it is 7 minus 1 and it is 11 minus 1 so actually we have a result for this that whenever we have a prime number p so phi of p is calculated by calculating p minus 1 right so this is about the Euler phi function now moving for forward and looking at the question that we pose in the starting of this video that how can we count the number of elements of each order within a finite cyclic group so in order to answer this question we have a result so this result tell us that if d is some positive divisor of n right what is n n is the number of uh, what is n n is the uh, number uh, order of the group so it is the order of the group so we say for a cyclic group having order n right if d represents a positive divisor of n then the number of elements having order d they are calculated by calculating this phi of t so this is the result with us so i hope you understood the result we in the next video we'll be talking about this result furthermore and we'll be seeing its proof well that is it for this video thank you for watching